nutrition. Yo, <laughs> Joe. What we talk about? Balance. So we're talking today about finding balance between being good and being bad with your eating and making very, very good or very, very bad. <laughs> yeah, and it tends to be one or the other. So my analogy for it is kind of thinking about it as traffic lights. So people are either green or red. They're either really good all the time, seven days a week, everything's perfect, or they're red. They've got no kind of in between. And rather than being six months a year on green, six months a year on red, people need to kind of learn to be on amber or orange. 12 months a year and actually make progress rather than kind of going up and down and ultimately kind of getting nowhere when they put weight on and lose it and follow that cyclical dieting that so many people do. Like Bruce Lee, dead. No, long term <laughs> consistency over a, like a short term burst intensity. Okay. Um, so yes, yeah, so you need to kind of factor in these little cheats and treats and like I said, like Joe says, people will go all or nothing, they'll go Monday, right, everything's out. I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that, I'm going to cut this, I'm going to cut that, and blah, blah, blah. And then they have a two finger Kit Kat, and then it all goes to shit. That's your first of the You press the fuck it button, and then you know the rest of your week is ruined, and then you start again on Monday, and then the same thing happens. Whereas if you'd have factored in, maybe you're allowed two, <laughs> two finger <laughs> Kit Kats. Uh, then you could have missed that blip and it could have been just part of your program. Mm. This is going to be different for everyone, you know, some people are really, really good for six, eight weeks and then then they kind of fall off the wagon. So you might be, you know, a lot of people kind of are really good for that opening period, it just depends how long your motivation kind of lasts for and ultimately you've got to realise that it is kind of a finite resource and that very, very few people are able to eat super clean 12 months a year and maintain that shape. There's a reason a lot of people aren't in fantastic shape is because they haven't got that balance down. So you need to find the point where you're still progressing, but you are consistent. You know, it needs to be something you can follow for kind of months on end. Edging onto that breaking point, but then just coming back. Yeah, exactly. Go to the edge, and then I come back. The problem that- To the edge, <laughs> pull it back. Oh, thank you. But the problem that people kind of have is they overspill. So people will be really good Monday to Friday, and they might, then just go too far on the weekend, ultimately their progress is stalled before it's even started. So people think they're, they're being moderate in regard to their intake of maybe like unhealthy or low quality foods, but they're just undoing all their progress. So they're not, they're being, kind of, kind of getting that balance, but not getting the progress. So you need to make sure that you're hitting both. Indeed, so like I say, it's that balance thing, you know, if you're eating a balanced diet and you're staying where you are, so you're eating your foods, you're not getting any weight, you're not losing any weight, then you need to shift that balance slightly. So if, you know, you get to the point where you're eating a couple of cheats or a couple of treats per week, but then your weight loss stalls and you need to shift that balance. You need to kind of go back a little bit more into the good and maybe cut one of those meals out or one of those snacks out and then get my move, 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 my Factor in these things. So basically, you know what I mean? If you can get away with eating two two finger <laughs> Kit Kats per week whilst you're still losing weight, then you know you can you can do that. But then if you're eating two two finger Kit Kats and you're gaining weight or you're not losing any weight, then you need to make that change, you need to make that sacrifice and go down to maybe just three fingers <laughs> for the Kit Kat or two fingers. Yeah, it's highly likely that you know you can have that bit of wiggle room, but unless you're assessing either your weight, your shape and your food, then you don't know. So people often kind of say, I eat quite well, I only break from my plan once a week, twice a week. Oh, well, I think I've stalled. Yeah, <laughs> because they're just not really looking precisely what's going on. So you do need to track these things and make sure that you, you know where you are, otherwise you don't know when to make adjustments. You need to pick the point when to when Fire to Fire the next rocket. Yeah, exactly. So if you don't know if you've plateaued, then you might not have done, you might still be progressing. So you need to track and measure what you do. Cool. Perfect. Roger that. Peace out. One love. For the mother's pride. I like when you say one love. Which was a bit, a bit like one love for the times we cried. Yeah, it's just one love. <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> <laughs>